Oh, hi, it's Rob, and this is the post-Halloween teardown video. I know, it sounds awfully exciting, doesn't it? 2020 was kind of a tough year for all of us. Uh, it was for me in particular, I know, and I know several other people that have had uh, some problems, and you know, there's not much that we can do about it. You know, our, our Halloween got subsumed by both COVID and the nasty, nasty election that we're going through. So we didn't get to celebrate nearly as much. I think we had a total of five trick-or-treaters the entire night, and they all started pretty early. I was kind of surprised. They started, I think, at 4.30, which was very new and strange. I was able to get some decorations up. I got the Reaper skeletons up. Uh, the one on the right there is missing its bottom half uh, because of a little accident that happened earlier. Uh, but this one was in one piece and uh, had it going with uh, the lantern uh, that I did a little earlier. I was really pleased with how these turned out. Um, unfortunately, on Halloween day, we had a windstorm and it did some damage. That's the one that fell off the roof and as you can see, his spine is broken. Uh, I had to do quite a bit of work to fix him. Some of the headstones blew down as well. Uh, both of the other skeletons were blown over, but most of the things stayed up. Uh, in the background, there are the, uh, the Home Depot crypt. Oh yeah, that guy fell over up on top of the roof. He had 40 pounds of weight on the base, and there was still enough wind to blow that baby over. I um, was able to get everything cleaned up fairly well. Uh, because it wasn't as much as I would normally do, I think it was, it came together a little easier. Uh, some things I really liked, the, um, all the vines and everything I had were real vines that I pulled off of the house earlier and was able to wrap around things and give it a much more authentic look. Um, the fenced in area there is some, uh, it's not chicken wire, but it's a metal, metal mesh fencing. It was actually some surplus that um, a neighbor gave me. And I was able to weave the vines in th along it and through it and set them up. And it ended up looking pretty good. I was kind of uh, amazed at how well that looked. It was me pulling up all the little LED lights that I used this year. Um, nice thing about this fence is I was able to keep all of the vines on it and just roll it up. So now I've got this ready to go for next year and I can probably add more vines to it as things go. And the battery camera died, so I wasn't able to actually show you um, taking down the Home Depot crypt and the, uh, I don't know what they call it, the mausoleum frame. I really liked having the two of those separate. They were supposed to go together, but um, the more I set it up, uh, it just made more sense to have two separate pieces and have one act as a sort of a walkthrough. Uh, if I go to making a home haunt at any point, which is kind of doubtful considering the very low traffic that we have on this street, it's a pretty busy street, I would probably want to use that as the entrance to it. Um, it's actually pretty nice for that kind of thing. Uh, taking it apart was relatively easy and uh, I was able to store it all on the front porch, so that's pretty good. Um, this beastie, uh, this is the one that had fallen off that had its spine broken um, in the picture earlier. I was able to kind of, sort of, fix it, wire it together a little bit, but the broken spine is something that's probably going to uh, make it, um, I don't know, I'm probably going to have to take it apart and redo another one. I'm not sure if I can actually fix the spine. And certainly the wind had its toll on the Reaper skeletons this year, so they're going to have to go through a lot more fixing up and re-gluing and uh, just general repair. You know, they're cool. I like them. Um, they're relatively easy to make and didn't cost a whole lot of money considering what they are. I think the production value of them turned out really well. Uh, especially with the, the flame lanterns, which were uh, new this year. I actually did a couple last year, but uh, did them in some different fixtures. And these were much lighter uh, plastic fixtures or plastic uh, Halloween 
lanterns that I got a couple years ago. And of course, you know, I'm getting help from the dogs. They are pretty much a part of everything that I do these days. So, what happens next year? I'm not sure. But I got these guys. I didn't get them in time to actually use them for anything, but I really like the effect that they have. So probably try and put them into something as well. Uh, not entirely sure what yet, but I'm hoping to have a little bit more of an elaborate setup for next year. You know, it's going to depend on how the year goes, certainly. But see you next year. And stay haunting.